What's up guys, Zaf here back with some more on Muji and following yesterday's video which I showcased how to clear Orochi stage 8 with the frozen time or bunny cheese method I'm going to show you guys how I cleared soul 9 and soul 10 I mean Orochi stage 9 and stage 10 which people just call soul 9 and soul 10 right but instead of using Zashiki I had to bring Obume uh, actually you can just bring any other DPS um, the reason is because there's a Kusa. If you can look at the screen right now, we have a Kusa. And she has this passive which heals herself for, I think, 15% uh, of her attack whenever she's damaged. That, that's without skill ups, but I'm not sure whether the enemy that we have right now has skill ups or not. But every time I hit her, she heals herself for about uh, approximately 1,600, 1,200 to 1,600. Um, health so when I tried using four bunnies and zashiki hero's damage was not good enough to to overcome the health so I had to bring Ubumi in and I, I learned it the hard way that um, you're, you're better off using just his first skill which doesn't require any orbs instead of using the hack and slash because that will just use up orbs well not really the hard way like, I mean it took me like like one run to realize that oh, okay no I can't do that you know because then then we run out of orbs but yeah uh, apart from that everything is pretty much standard um, you have to control you have to control your uh, attack bar I mean the orbs the orb meter and uh, and you'll be fine it might take you a few tries, especially because we're running on Fortune Cats and we don't have Zashiki. So Spirit Ops could be an issue, you know, it's it's RNG based. Um, it took me... Okay, the whole thing, like stage 8, 9 and 10, I, I did everything. It took me... This is my own personal experience. It took me 4 hours to do it. I'm pretty sure everybody else had better luck than me. I'm, I mean, I just had really, really bad luck. You know, there was a lot of failed runs here and there. But, I'm going to tell you guys what happens after, like today, like it's, it's been less than 24 hours since I've cleared um, Orochi Stage 10. And today, I, I got myself like a 6 star speed soul, so I'm like, it's worth it. All, all I did was, I think I joined like 4 Krakens throughout the day, because of the server maintenance and it was going down, uh, server maintenance, um, I didn't have that much playing time. So I think I just did only like four, four Krakens and I, I got um, a six star speed so on the fourth Kraken. So yeah, uh, it's well worth it. <laughs> that four hours was really well worth it because I think instead of spending like 20 minutes um, every time I want to run Soul 10, I might as well just run a Kraken once an hour. But yeah, I mean, I'm working on, I'm working on uh, a Soul 10 team eventually. Right, but right now, this I just want to show you guys how I did it. You know, um, there's more variations to this, but this was what I had available. Uh, some people say they use Seimei, and that worked too. Um, I'm unsure how to do that. I mean, I have a Seimei, but until I figure out how to do it with Seimei, like this was the method that I used. So again. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can just leave a comment and if you found this video helpful, you know, you can leave a like, comment, subscribe and at the end of the video, uh, I'll show you guys the souls that I use for, for the bunnies and ubume and um, the totem level for hero, the, the, the skill level, I mean like I, I'm still, I was pretty unlucky like Hero skill level is like level 1 for his shadow. Level 1 or level 2? I think level 2 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you guys got better luck than me. Um, good luck clearing Orochi 9 and 10. This is Zaf signing out then.
があるからね覚悟はできたかくらえ
King!